All right, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Sunday. January 19th, 2025 is the date, 11.57 a.m. That's California time here. Latest activity on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a uh, 4.7 down here in the red flag across the Chile area. Subduction zone, also some movement there in the West Coast with uh, earthquake around the uh, well, south of Mount Lassen here, a considerable distance outside of Quincy near Meadow Valley, a 2.5 fairly shallow earthquake here, crustal quake across that area. Uh, still seeing a little bit of movement here across the Northern California region this morning as well. 3.6 and a couple other twos in there. This has just been, uh, you know, whether you want to call it aftershock sequences or just uh, continued pressure out here across the Northern California area. Uh, so be it. But still seeing a lot of activity here. And uh, they're reporting a few of them. I think some of the earthquakes out here not quite getting uh, listed up on the map. There's one earthquake there about, uh, ooh just a few minutes ago and as you can see here on the map this is a petroleum station right here as you can see on the map nothing here within the last few minutes the last uh, reported earthquake was a 2.3 early this morning about 6 30 a.m so we're still seeing earthquake activity out there and a number of quakes that are not being reported uh, the bay area of california pretty quiet southern california down here um far as 2.5 and above most of these quakes here from yesterday uh, in terms of that magnitude for the most part smaller microquake activity out here today really no significant swarming going on uh, no unusual activity to note just a handful of smaller quakes there across southern california uh, through the uh, texas oil fields and whatnot some movement stirring up out here nothing uh, big going on for now new madrid seismic zone pretty quiet a handful of smaller quakes out here across this area of the country in the last couple days uh, looks like one of the latest quakes, so uh, 2.1 out around Tennessee. And uh, that was from yesterday. Here's some of the recent earthquake activity down across the South America region. Uh, the latest, 4.768 miles deep here into the subduction zone of the Peru-Chile Trench. A little bit of activity here yesterday as well. Uh, keep an eye on this region. Definitely looking uh, quite active out there in the last 24 hours. Uh, across the globe, a little bit of movement stirring up out in the Atlantic area. Some fours and uh, some other smaller quakes out there today. The rest of the Atlantic looks pretty quiet. Uh, here across New Zealand area on the plate boundary, some movement stirring up. Mostly threes, uh, some larger activity north here along the Kermadec Trench with some fours, uh, upper fours there from yesterday. Uh, fairly quiet out here across Japan area for now. Looks like uh, things have... Taking a little break out there as far as earthquake activity goes. Nothing showing up here on the uh, um, either the Earthquake 3D Globe or the USGS map for the uh, Japan area. Most of the movement today been out here across the Himalayas and uh, northward off the plate boundary. Uh, getting on quite a few fours and whatnot out in this area. Nothing major going on there through the uh, Ethiopia Rift boundary for now. Nothing being reported anyway across that uh, Great Rift Valley. Uh, let's see here, Puerto Rico area, a couple smaller quakes, really nothing big. This is typical on any given day out here, no major swarming going on. Let's check out the, uh, the Hawaii area, see what we have for the latest information on Kilauea Volcano. Uh, let's check out the webcams up here real quick at the summit. I think the uh, eruption there is still paused from yesterday. A little bit of uh, volcanic gases and whatnot seeping out through the... Uh, these little crater holes there where the uh, fountaining was observed here with the recent eruption. So uh, let's see what we got here for the the update today. Yeah, it was uh, it kicked up a pause here. It's on a pause status as of yesterday, uh, January 18th. Um, so there still will be a little bit of uh, lighting up, so to speak, at night as far as maybe some observable hot spots. But uh, things right now look like they're uh, starting to uh, go back up in terms of inflation there. Let's check out the inflation data. Yep, there's the pause in the eruption here yesterday. Since then, we've been go going back up here in terms of inflation across the area. So we'll see. Probably a return to the eruption stage with some more fountaining across the same area, I'm guessing, 
unless something happens with maybe a blockage. But I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, probably be a couple days here before we see a return uh, to the eruption status. All right, uh, space weather activity. See what we got going on here across the sun. Things uh, lowering, so to speak, in terms of the flare threat out here. A look at the last couple days of flaring, maybe. We'll see if it's going to let us. There we go. Um, overall trend here, back down into the sea flare category. An occasional impulsive M flare. Uh, maybe a sea flare as well in there. Uh, really not uh, expecting too much here in terms of stronger flare potential. Uh, this area that we were watching right here has... Uh, uh, it looks fairly stable, and it's actually just about ready to pop off there, the western limb. So that will be out of sight, out of mind, and we're left with a number of uh, fairly stable sunspots here on the earth-facing earth side of the sun. Not a whole lot of uh, uh, interesting sunspots out here, at least on this side for now. Unless we get something stirring up out of the blue, uh, I think we'll enter into a little bit quieter period following the departure of this sunspot which is 39.64. So overall flare threat right now, 20% chance for the X flare, 60% for M flare. Uh, no major roars in the forecast, just a little unsettled conditions there over the next couple nights. But uh, really, that's just due to the uh, typical solar wind stream out there. A uh, quick glance at the next close approach asteroids out here, see if we got anything. It's oh, a bad gateway, huh? Looks like they're down, so we'll go over here to the spaceweather.com site and see uh, where the asteroids are here. They got uh, recent and upcoming Earth asteroid encounters. Pretty close one there, yes, or a couple days ago, but uh, even so, that's you know about half the moon distance for this asteroid. It was uh, looks like about 13 meter in diameter. Anything coming up here? Close approach? I don't see anything. They're all uh, fairly safe distance out here, according to the chart, well into March. All right, Storm Prediction Center for severe weather outlook today. Not a whole lot going on, just a little marginal category down here across uh, a small portion of Florida for a 2% chance at tornado probability. A little bit of wind, uh, no health threats out there today, less than 5% for all areas. Quick glance here at the weather models. Got a lot of colder air position out here across the majority of the country still expecting some snow down there across the gulf coast states as we head into early next week some ice included in that uh, so that is still on forecast there for uh for the early next week time period and uh some further cold air dipping down into the uh similar area of the country as we head towards uh not this coming week but next week uh, unfortunately, man, oh goodness, it's just looking worse and worse out here for California. Nothing in terms of uh, expected rainfall out here for the latest models. This goes into the uh, first week of February. Not a drop of recordable uh, precipitation out here. Hopefully that changes, but uh, man, it's looking super, super dry out here. Not good news. Quick glance at the uh, fire map out here from the Watch Duty app. Uh, they're getting a handle on this. The Palisades fire just about, uh, as far as containment goes, about 52%. No hot spots being observed. Uh, the cameras are all functional, not seeing any smoke or smoldering, although there might be a couple areas out there that they're working with. In terms, well, this one here, that could be some fog out there. That looks like some coastal marine layer. Yep, that's exactly what it is. So, uh, yeah, that fire, no hot spots being observed, just about got it contained completely. Uh, the Eaton fire over here, 81% containment, no hot spots being observed. As far as any new fires being started out here, uh, I don't see any out on the map, which is good news. Still got, uh, I don't know what's going on up here across this Moss Landing uh, area. 14 hours ago. Uh, let's see. It doesn't really say if they got it under control or not. It looks like they're doing some uh, updating on their 
page there found on that link. So if you want to check that out, you're welcome to. Aside from that, uh, no major fires out here across California for now. All right, uh, seismograph stations out there, pretty quiet, folks. Not a whole lot going on. Um, looks like a typical day. Hope everyone enjoys their uh, weekend out here. What's left of it? Clear, sunny, dry out here in California. Oh, man, not looking good for uh, rainfall either. So I'm a little bit uh, bummed out about that because we're supposed to, you know, technically this is our wet season. We should be getting some rainfall. And uh, it's high and dry. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys back out here for the Sunday night update. Stay safe out there.